On August 12, 1932, a Japanese baron and his Italian horse are about to take part in their first Olympic Games. But before we talk about that, let's go back a bit. Takeichi Nishi was born on July 12, 1902 in Tokyo. He is the illegitimate son of Tokujiro Nishi, former Minister of Foreign Affairs. He inherits the title of Baron after the death of his father in 1912. Baron Nishi studies at the Military Academy in Hiroshima, where he develops a passion for horseback riding. After graduating in 1927, he is appointed as Japan's representative for the 1932 Olympics. He takes a six-month leave to travel to Europe and the United States in preparation for the Games, in search of the horse he will train for the jumping event. He finds 11-year-old golden chestnut Uranus in Italy. Their destinies will be forever bound, as we will see. In 1932, at the Los Angeles Games, Takeichi Nishi takes part in one of the most challenging individual jumping events of the era. The maximum height of the hurdles, which until then was 1 meter 40, goes up to 1 meter 60, and the longest jumps are 5 meters long instead of 4 previously. Only 4 of the entrants finish the course. As the last competitor approaches, Harry Chamberlain from the US leads in front of Clarence from Rosen Jr. from Sweden, by a score of 12 to 16 penalties. Everybody assumes that the podium is already decided as an unknown Japanese competitor enters the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, riding an unknown horse. After a remarkable course with only 8 penalty points, Takeichi Nishi becomes the first, and to this day the only Japanese Olympic equestrian champion. Nishi becomes one of the attractions of the 1932 Games and poses with his convertible car, above which he will even perform a jump with Uranus for the photographs. If Baron Nishi is popular in California, the image of Japan is worsening in the United States, following the invasion of Manchuria by the Imperial Japanese Army on November 19, 1931. Four years later, Nishi and Uranus are among the favorites for the Berlin Games of 1936. In time to win another medal, they fell halfway through and finished in 20th place of the competition. After the disappointment of Berlin, Nishi is mobilized by the Imperial Army for the supply of horses. The meager importance of cavalry in the war to come leads to his reassignment in an armored division. After some of his division's tanks were sunk by an American submarine, Lieutenant Colonel Nishi returns to Tokyo to order new ones. He takes the opportunity to pay a last visit to his wife and his three children, as well as to his horse Uranus, who spends the war in the Setagaya stables. Takeichi leads the 26th Armored Regiment in defense of Iwo Jima, a 21 square kilometer island of capital strategic importance. General Kuribayashi Taramichi, commander of the island, is aware of the superior strike force of the US military and decides to defend the position in the foothills of the Suribachi volcano, in which numerous tunnels are built. The V and Fabius Corps, aided by the 7th Air Force and the 5th Fleet, land on Iwo Jima on February 19, 1945. One of the fiercest battles of the Pacific War ensued, claiming nearly 7,000 lives on the American side. Almost all of the 20,000 Japanese soldiers stationed at Iwo Jima, including Nishi Takeichi, were killed in the battle, which ended nearly a month later on March 26, 1945. Two days later, on March 28, Uranus, a chestnut horse born in Italy, Olympic champion in the United States and pride of the Setagaya stables, was struck with the devastating disease and joined his rider in the afterlife. The destiny of Takeichi Nishi, parent of the Japanese aristocracy, who rose to fame in the Olympic Coliseum and was struck down, like so many others, by the cataclysm of war, reminds us of the unpredictable, often tragic, but also precious nature of life. <laughs>